Hey guys, Master of Extreme 93, part 15 in Leaf Green. In the last episode, we got a Celadon City, and we evolved some of our Pokemon. In this episode, we're going to continue our exploration of Team Rocket's hideout, and joining me today is my friend Sammy. So, so TV. What up? Dog stingies? You know, if anybody remembers my first couple episodes of Leaf Green, I <laughs> specifically mentioned, where the hell is Sam? And now you're back. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't anywhere. I was just chilling out the same places. Moss just didn't come. I was <laughs> on Zet all of those days. I had not left Zet. You were just not on, not on Zet the same time. Yeah, I was. it was just a bad coincidence. I, I never saw you on Skype either. I hadn't been on Skype for a long time. I must have been. So I had the feeling you were gone, but I mean, it was just we both avoided each other without noticing we avoided each other. Yeah. Um, to get on topic of what's going on in the video right now, we're just finding a Team Rocket Run, and once we defeat this guy, he's going to give us the lift key, which is what we need to go into the elevator. Elevator. Loving an Woo. elevator. Like, <laughs> you know that song by Aerosmith? Yeah. I listened to that song like five times yesterday. Love it. He drops the lift key. And now we can go and get into the elevator. Elevator. Okay. So, what have you been doing, like, with school? What's the deal with stuff in your life? Well, I've... I've been playing tennis, and I was telling Mox that I've been throwing up a lot lately, because tennis is very physically demanding for someone as out of shape of me. But I'm going to try to, you know, keep losing some weight. And that's pretty much it. Hey, mad props to you for admitting that you're not in the best shape in the world. I mean, I can yep. definitely respect that you're trying to, you know, get physically active. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I, I probably do need to, like, go shoot some hoops, you know, outside or something. But the problem is that my friend Dennis doesn't ever want to do anything because he's always on his PS3. <laughs> yeah. Now we have another Team Rocket battle, two we have to, get to take care of, and once we get these guys out of the way, the door will open and we will be able to fight Giovanni. Oh, snap. You know what? The one thing I don't like about Leaf Green and Fire Red, two things really. One, they did not give Giovanni and Team Rocket a larger role, I don't think, as they could have in this game. Yeah. And. Number two, they did not give Giovanni like his own theme music, which is really stupid, because I thought he deserved like his own theme or something. Yeah. It's like his music is the same music you listen to if you do like a Team Rocket battle. I mean, come on, he's Giovanni, he's not a grunt. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I'm pretty sure that that happens with a lot of the main bosses. Like, they just like, they come in for like three battles and then they're gone. I know. Ex that's what Ex I want to see. But it, especially in Fire Red and Leaf Green, because, like, there was no, like, legendary... That's Wolf what Wolf. I loved so much about Team Plasma in 5th Gen. When you had... Mm -hmm. when you they had, were... Yeah. yeah, they were so story bend. They were like involved in the story a lot. I mean, they were yeah. involved directly in, like, the fact you didn't even fight the Elite Four the first time. I mean, I've never yeah. had any like anything like that happen before. Yeah. I mean, you went through the Elite Four, but you didn't fight the Champion. That's what I meant to say. And then, like, as soon as you got done with, with a probably very difficult battle with N, then all of a sudden, you know, freaking Geddes comes in and is like, I'm going to destroy you with Hydragon! And you're, and you're just like, what? And you're just like, ah! <laughs> You're like, I just killed all of N's Pokemon and now to I face have this to, old guy. <laughs> to face this old guy with this fucking fast, fucking powerful dragon dark type. And then Unless there was, like, Mox fire just a dragon type. <laughs> oh god, I remember <laughs> I thought that thing was, like... <laughs> Hydreigon? What was? What did I think that thing was? Dark? You just thought it was dragon. You're, I, like... Oh, yeah. You're, like, you psychic, and you're, like, what happened? What it, happened? It said it's not affected. And then, and then it, Luigi's, like, it's dark dragon. And he's, like, I thought it was... And you're, like, I thought it was dragon. He's, like, it's dark dragon, dude. I was, like, and you're, like, no! no! F, 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 F. <laughs> I was mad, because I had no idea it was Dark-type. Alright, to actually get back to the video a little bit, we have another Team Rocket battle with some noob. 
the second guy blocking the door, and once we get rid of this guy, we'll be able to go take on Giovanni. Yay! You know how I recorded this video? How? I recorded it in class. Are you serious? Totally serious. That's awesome. Like, half of my videos are recorded while I'm sitting in English class. How do you get by it? Because I sit back at the class, and the way I position my fingers on my keyboard, my teacher has no idea that I'm recording a video. He thinks I'm typing notes. You're gonna get caught one day. He's gonna. Do, he's just gonna be like, "Oh, how you doing?" And I'll be like, "What is this?" I'm like, "Oh, Pokemon." Oh, oh, yeah. I'm taking notes in the form of recording a video. And so he's gonna be like, "Yeah, you're going to the principal's office." <laughs> I really don't you care. You kids and your fancy Pokemans. Pokemans <laughs> with the Pokemon and the thing this guy comes out and he's rah, rah, rah. <laughs> rah, rah, rah. That sounds more like the Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> I know. I can't really do a Bill Cosby impression too well. Yeah, no one can. <laughs> Except for that guy. Did you see that video of uh, that guy on Matt TV? Oh yeah, I did. That was He was pretty good. Did you see the video called Socks with Sandals? Uh, no. You need to go on YouTube and look up the video Socks with Sandals. It's like... I, I had a dream that I actually had Socks with Sandals, and I was like, <laughs> what is this? Okay, you, you have to go on YouTube, type in Socks with Sandals. It's got like over a million views. And the video pretty much is about a guy who's walking peacefully one day. Some people point out that he's wearing socks with his sandals, and he's like, wait, seriously? They're pointing out that I have socks with sandals, and like that they're making this to be a big deal? And then he sees everybody freaking out, he's like, wait a second. I can be a troll. And so then he starts walking like a troll, and he's got a troll face on his face, and like <laughs> everybody he goes by is like scared the hell out of the fact that he's wearing socks with sandals. <laughs> and so now we're talking uh to Giovanni, actually. I'll, I'll probably be like, boy, y'all. What the heck? My lights just flickered. Lols. That was creepy. They didn't even go off. They just, like, dimmed and then... I am the leader. Giovanni. Cool story, bro. Cool story. For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain! Well, not really. I'm gonna kick your ass, but okay. Just saying, the lights just did it again. Your house guys, is haunted. Yeah, if I get if I get molested by a ghost, you you guys are my <laughs> you guys are my viewers. Your witness, wait, that sounds witnesses, wrong. <laughs> witnesses. Yeah, not viewers. <laughs> you guys can watch if you want. Oh, and just so you know, guys, for anyone who's listening to this video, I'm going to give you a link in the video description that takes you to Sammy's channel, so you can sub him if you want to, because he's awesome. You don't want to. You know they want to, so. I'm gonna try to make some videos. You know, uh, as, like, I've been saying that for two years. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make a video two years two later. Day. Two days. Two years later. <laughs> I'm still gonna make a video <laughs> soon. It's in editing. It's uploading. <laughs> it's been uploading for two years. <laughs> it's a two year video. <laughs> and so now our bag on just wasted his onyx with brick brick spam so we get almost level 29 for Bagon. just barely missed it oh don't his, his next pokemon is going to be a rhyhorn again just spam brick break because super effective i've never understood why a fighting type move is super effective against a rock type wouldn't it like punching rock break your hand or something uh -huh. why is normal type like even existing I know. Why is normal type That's even like being type? like, hey, I'm an animal. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm white and nerdy. <laughs> I mean, what I don't understand is that you can be, I can understand like if the normal type was weak to a type, but why do they not have a type yeah. advantage over anything? Yeah. Why can't they like have a type advantage over something? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can get stab moves with normal types, It'd but be you hilarious can get super if normal effective. was super effective against dragon types. I know, that would just be lulz. At the very least, I want to see normal types super effective against other normal types. I guess that would make the most sense. Yeah, yeah. Like how dragons are weak to dragons and ghosts are weak to ghosts, etc. Yeah. I just I mean, don't know why normal types are like, you know, 
are like, you know, the the punching bags of Pokemon. Yeah. And there are some really good normal types too, like Mil Tank and Kangaskhan, like the Kangaskhan we're fighting right now against Giovanni. Phew. Pro Shin Nido King is using Double Kick, is super effective. Almost came into Kangaskhan, not quite though. And I'm we can gonna... we can take this Mega Punch. We've got enough HP to live it. Tanked like a boss, and now the second double kick will KO it. Dun, dun. Wait, and with that, okay. we defeat Giovanni. Dun, 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 dun. Was that somewhat in tune? Somewhat, kind of. Yes! No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> and we get monies for our win, because boss like that. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. Which you will. Trust <laughs> me, Giovanni. I will kick your ass at least two more times between now and the time I finish this video. <laughs> I'll just tell you. So I'm, I'm just guess. I'm just gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna kick your ass a lot. <laughs> and we do pick up the self scope, which will allow us to go into Lavender Tower. But we're not gonna do that right now. We're gonna go back and take on the fourth gym. Erica. I like, um, I like Misty better. She's hotter. I'm not going to lie, I had a little bit of a fanboy crush on Misty when I was, like, young. I used to have a huge crush on Kim, on Kim Possible. Kim Possible? <laughs> yeah. I, I watched that show, like, maybe ten times in my life. I just didn't understand what it was. I didn't really understand it either. I only watched it for Kim Possible. It's like, okay, so there's this teenage girl who's like a spy. Yeah. And she She didn't even have like a specific organi organization. She just had her friend like I know. who has no legs just chatting I, with her. I did always like her friend's name, Ron Stoppable. That was awesome. Because he's stoppable. Yeah. <laughs> the play on the names is like my favorite part of the show. <laughs> it's like Kim Possible put it together, it's like impossible. Oh, it's like I finally <laughs> I finally realized that like after watching the first couple episodes, like oh that's pretty nice. K M possible. I mean the same thing happens with like SpongeBob a lot when I'm watching SpongeBob. Like many things fly over my head when I was younger. Then I'm older and I go back and watch what they're talking about. It's like wait that's very suggestive. It's like one time it, watching the SpongeBob episode, like he was trying to clean Gary and he's like, look the balloons, don't drop them. He's implying that he's going to drop the soap. Drop the soap. I mean, that's a kid's show, and you just made a joke that he's going to drop the soap and, like, get yeah. raped, like, in a jail. <laughs> I mean, that's very adult for people who realize what he's talking about. <laughs> that's why SpongeBob is awesome. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of hidden things in there. I believe that's why SpongeBob is one. SpongeBob is one of the most watched shows among adults, because people, yeah. because they they get all the jokes that yeah. are show that the kids they don't think anything of it. There's one cartoon I that I absolutely love, and it's just it, it's Phineas and Ferb. I'm gonna be honest. Phineas and Ferb. I've watched that like two times. I, I never got into it. <laughs> My sister was watching it this morning, and I don't know. The bad guy was like, um. What do you say? He was like, welcome to my space station, 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 cookie station. He's like, what? My echo must be broken. I was just like, what? What? It was like one of those things where it's so random, you just gotta laugh. I know, I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't enjoy those shows if I was to actually take the time to watch them. I just don't take the time to watch them. <laughs> and to actually get back onto the video, we just got level 30 for Neo King, and we were fighting the first trainer inside Erica's gym. She's, she's got like at least five or six trainer battles in here, so the rest of the video is just gonna be us fighting these battles. So you can either watch the video and watch us pound the shit out of these Pokemon, or you can listen to me and Sam being stupid. Yep. Dude, I, hurt I, I was actually talking to this girl in my school. She's the derpiest person I've ever seen. Oh, I know time... some girl in my class. She is like a complete derp face too. You want to know what she said one time? What? Yeah, I'm not trying to be stereotypical, 
but I mean she's black and I'm going to assume that she does not know much about past musical history. Because where, I'm, where, I'm, where, where I'm going with this is that she's we were talking about music in class and I brought up my opinion about how I look like older music like the Beatles and like 80s rock mm -hmm. and 70s rock. Yeah. She's like, oh yeah, I like the Beatles. Too bad Paul McCartney died. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. fam. <laughs> uh, I was just like, isn't Ringo Starr still alive? Ringo Starr and Paul McCartney are the two living Beatles. Yeah. I'm like, just like, just shut up. <laughs> I think she confused um, Paul McCartney for. Oh god, I can't believe it. Um, what's the guy Harrison? Uh, George deal. Harrison. George Harrison. I'm kind of pretty. Sure she yeah. she mentioned that the other guy, the fourth guy, was dead. I can't, yeah. I can't remember his name. Um, that's sad. John Lennon. John Lennon. I always remember like, oh, it's John Lennon. I just can't remember his name. I always yeah. remember Harrison for some reason. But <laughs> she was confusing George Harrison for Paul McCartney. Wow. Well, you know, honest mistake for black people. Don't kill me, not, not Italo. Me, if not, you're watching this. Italo died. You know who needs to come back? Italo. I know, but he's like... He's, he's like busy with in real life shit. I don't even know what's going on with him anymore. Boo. Well, who needs a life? Not being When racist, I got Zax. But I'm, I just believe it's very stereotypical that black people don't know a lot about musical history. Because, I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying they're all wrapped up in the hip-hop and R&B that they listen to today. I don't like rap. That's just me. That's me too. I don't <laughs> like rap. Uh, I love the Beatles, Queen, Aerosmith. Queen, yes, and Aerosmith, yes. Oh uh, yes, Mox is my guy, as I, you guys can tell. I was listening to um, Janie Got a Gun by Aerosmith last night. Oh, nice. Queen's probably my favorite band. Queen's up right up there with my favorite bands too, but my all-time favorite band is a certain Guns N' Roses. Oh yes. Just like, I will crank that shit up whenever I can and <laughs> just rock the fuck out. I hate when I when so, uh, the radio's playing something, a song I like, and they're like, and someone someone like who likes pop music like, Oh, I hate this song, so old. I know, they it's like, it. why would oh. you hate this? I hate the new crap that's out today. And you hate this? Do you People have would taste? call like a 2007 song old. Like, listen to the Beatles. <laughs> You want, but, yeah. you want to talk about old? Listen to Frank Sinatra. <laughs> That's old. The Beatles, it's still rel it's still kind of old compared to stuff today, but it's still relevant. Yeah. Beatles songs are still relevant because they're the Beatles, but Frank Sinatra, that, that would be something that's like old, old. <laughs> I'll be like, what is that? <laughs> They'll be like, who? It's like, wait, who's... Who that Beatles? Hold on, let me listen to Lil Wayne. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Lil Wayne, fail. <laughs> yeah, seriously. My sister uh, actually probably went to go just see... offended like 20 million people. Oh, oh yeah, guess what, guys? Me and Sam, we, we don't like rap, which means we don't like rappers. Yes. I, Eminem, I can make an exception. Not only because he's white, it's because he raps about something. He raps about his life, not beer. Okay, just being very stereotypical. In my opinion, <laughs> rappers like to rap about sex. Yes. And I actually and do not blame them because if you stop and think about it, many rock songs are about sex. If you yeah. think about it. I mean Aerosmith, loving an elevator. That's yeah, not yeah. that's not rapping about, you know, your problems <laughs> with taxes. That's rapping about <laughs> sex. Well not rapping but it's it's singing At about least sex. Love. <laughs> love in an elevator. Now today there are some rap songs called, you know, birthday sex. Yeah. You're talking it's about having sex on your birthday. Or or that um guy who was like, I just got fucked. <laughs> I'm like, dude. And then there's that other kids. song, "What What in the Butt." Yeah. And that's just this. This is completely People, distasteful. Uh, ra rock songs at least make it like kind of like secret. Rock songs they make it enjoyable to listen to. Yeah. They don't just go, "Yo, I just had sex, so I'm gonna rap about it." It's like literally yeah. some lyrics <laughs> to rap songs is like, "Yo, I just <laughs> fucked somebody." <laughs> it's like, great. Do we care? No, we don't. <laughs> Good for you. Like, cool story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I like Eminem. Like, I don't listen to him 24-7, but I've liked his stuff. Um, like, when I, it comes to Eminem, oh. like, my opinion, 
I think he used to be cool, I just don't think he's cool anymore. Yeah, I was just about to say that I liked the old Eminem better. Yeah, I mean, his new the... music is like, I don't like it as much. I'm Slim Shady, you know, I'm the real Shady, and all the Shadies are just imitating, so won't the real Slim Shady please stand up? That was awesome. You know my favorite, like, you know, artist of all time that's, like, not a band? Weird Al. Who? Weird Al, yeah. Just win. <laughs> I actually like Bruno Mars. He's probably... And Cela Green. He's awesome. He's, like, the coolest black guy. He just... He's... What do you call that? Pimpin'. He's pimpin', yeah. Yeah. He's, he's like one of those fat guys on the block who just like walk with the with the swag. He's like and boss. Like, he's a boss. Yeah. Anyway. Well, I'm just saying Weird Al is just so freaking funny. It's not even it's not even, you know, a joke. I mean <laughs> yeah. people make fun of not just rappers, but people make fun of rock bands like Nirvana. He made fun yeah. of their song called Smells Like Nirvana. Yeah. <laughs> he is just hilarious. Fucking Weepin' Bell keeps paralyzing my team. Weepin' Bell. Weepin' Bell. Wait, are you singing about Weepin' Bell? Weepin' Bell! Your mouth's so pretty. Actually, that would really hurt. Weepin' Bell! I just Please. find it a little funny that the number Pokemon in the index, number 69, is Bell Sprout and its evolution <laughs> has a huge mouth. Yeah. <laughs> just do they realize what they're doing when they design the Pokemon? Do they realize? No, obviously not. Do they do that on purpose? Like, oh hey, older people will realize that's a sexual. <laughs> oh man. Speaking of, when's Pokemon Grey gonna be at least announced? You mean Pokemon I think they're Grey. doing at least what? You mean Pokemon Grey? That's what I said. You said I thought you said green. <laughs> When's Pokemon Green gonna come out? Like I've been waiting for like 13 years. It never came out in America. All I got was this blue crap. <laughs> I know. I only got yellow, man. Yellow sucks. Pikachu's not supposed <laughs> to follow you everywhere. <laughs> I'm going back to black and white. I, I want to go more Cofagoras. You, you know what's just really weird about the Pokemon generations? They're going to eventually run out of colors to name their games after. Yeah, and it's, it's going to be like, Pokemon Yell- No, Pokemon- <laughs> I can't even do it. Pokemon, Pokemon Piss Pokemon... Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon Transparent. They're going to do like stuff like like Pokemon um, like good attributes, like Hope version or They're going to have to eventually run away from the color names. Yeah. Eventually, it's or just it's, stop on the <laughs> names. Or that, I mean, if you think about it, they might even do Pokemon Rainbow, which is <sighs> completely gay. It'd be like Pokemon Rainbow Edition. Pokemon Rainbow Edition, buy it now. It's like okay, I, <laughs> okay, be right back. I'm gonna buy Pokemon Rainbow. Oh, I broke a nail. <laughs> I love rainbows. What am I talking about? Double rainbow all the way. All the way. Cross, Cross the sky! Yeah! 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 So intense. Man, I remember when they used to be so popular. I know, what happened they to just all blew their, their fame. Like, 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 if I had a chance like that, I would be releasing content every week. I know. Like, once you get, like, that many subscribers, like, like you, you gotta use them. you get that many subs, and you get a partnership, you make anything, it doesn't matter what you post, yeah. you're gonna make a shitload of money. Because uh -huh. you got a lot of subs, and it doesn't matter what you post. It could be the, the dumbest crap, but it doesn't matter what you post, because you're going to get a lot of money. The only thing they did pretty good after that was um, backing up and oh, the Antoine Dawson. Yeah, what happened to Ben True? That was like the hottest thing yeah, on the know. internet, and then like, nobody cares about it no more. And he's like, and everyone's like, who's Antoine Dawson? You know he lives in my state. I know. In Huntsville, I think. And you know what? I think it's because he got all those TV deals to appear like on Tosh.0 and all yeah. these other shows. And then, like, after that, I think that's when people realize, and he's, he's getting old. He's getting, like, beaten into, like, a dead horse. <laughs> I wonder if anyone was like, wait, why is he so happy about his sister getting raped? It's like, yeah, why is he so energetic about, yeah, my sister <laughs> got raped. He's and now... like, what's up, Antoine? What's <laughs> up, guys? It's Antoine, the guy whose sister got raped. Well, uh, yeah. He's taking credit for the fact that he made a controversial video about yeah. his sister getting raped. 
I doubt he did it. He was probably like, ah! Ah! Someone call the police! And Someone then, call like, the police! If he's a fag, like, how tough really is he? He was like, oh my god. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, oxymoron. He's like, oh, tough and all that, but he's, but he's <laughs> gay. <laughs> I love black gay people. <laughs> They really like are kind King, of funny. It's, like, it's K Kingsley. He is hilarious. I hope it's Kingsley. I've never, I've never heard of him. What? I, I haven't guy, heard of him. Like, just rants about everything under the sun. Okay, well, but he... th just to tell the people in the video and to tell you right now, Sam, the video is almost over. No. You got like 20 seconds left. Okay, well, I'm going to say my goodbyes. Bye, people. I love ya. Wait, I'm gonna do my my signature outro. Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. This is Mark signing out. See you guys later.